Hello, everybody. Uh, today, I just uh, plan on having some fun. Uh, just do a little bit of uh, freestyling and buck wiling. Uh, what I'd like to do today is to make a, uh, a candelabra. And so basically, I just kind of looked around my scrap pile as usual, and I found this thin sheet, which I've, I've cut uh, about five inches square. And I have these pieces. And, uh, you know, I was hoping that this sheet would be about the same thickness as these, a little thicker, you know, to be like this thickness, but it is what it is, so I'll just use it and see, you know, see what comes of it. And I, I really don't have a great uh, idea in my mind what I'm going to do. I'm just going to play this one by ear. But what the first thing I, I think what I want to do, though, is to, uh, uh, like some videos back, I took my swage block and then I depressed... A piece of flat into that so I think that's what I'm gonna do with this sheet you know I'll set up my swage block here and then heat this up put it on and then and use a piece of suitable stock to push it into that hole to form a cup or you know a vessel that will hold you see these old uh, candles I have here they're so old they're, they're bent the leaning candles of type A so and uh, yeah, so then from there, I'm not even too sure what I'm going to do. I'll probably fashion these into maybe maybe make three legs, and uh, I'll probably rivet everything together. Uh, but like I said, I'm just going to play this one by ear. So we'll see. Uh, before I get started, I want to give a shout out uh, to two guys for donations, and those guys are Donald Henley and Bruce Butcher. So let's get started on this one. And see where it goes. I decided to cut the legs out of this sheet rather than use those separate pieces. This project quickly becomes theater of the absurd, but stick around. I rarely use sheet and this didn't work the way I thought it would. I, I imagine the whole thing would get sucked down in, not just the, uh, the center part. <laughs> and I didn't imagine I would bust a hole right through the thing. Okay, so this is take two with a slightly smaller sheet. I'll just try to go a little bit easier, but this is a little ridiculous. It's doing the same thing and expecting a different result, which is typically not very smart. So I figured I'd use this ball end and hopefully avoid ripping through the piece. Point, even though it's not going according to plan, I don't feel like abandoning this. Uh, after this heat here, I do tear it through a little bit, but I don't think it'll affect the final product. Okay, so now I'm approaching this sort of like abstract art, which is probably not a good sign, but still fun. When the movie is lacking in plot, in come the special effects. If I could add explosions to this, I would.
there you have it. A piece of sheet metal that looks like it was run over by a semi-truck. not adjust your screens. And now time to join two beat up pieces of metal. Just gave this a, a light brushing with the brass brush just to knock off any loose scale, nothing major. Uh, to say that this piece, uh, you know, went awry, well, that's a big understatement. But, you know, I, honestly, I, I, like, I like the way it looks. You know, and the candle fits really nicely inside. It's very snug. I don't know if you can see that. And, uh, yeah, I think it's kind of an interesting piece. You know, like I like I, oftentimes on these in these videos, you know, if you just stick with it, you know, you'd be surprised where things go. The true test of this, though, is my wife. If she likes it, it's a success. If not, oh well, back to the drawing board. Thanks so much for watching.